You asked, we answer. How to train your VA. Ooh, so how to hey. train your VA. How to, there's so many oh, There's so many things you can talk about with this that's question. a broad question, it's guys. Let's make them more specific so, moving forward. So the question is how do you train your VA? That is, um, it's kind of like saying how do you train an employee? Mm. Well, it depends. What are you trying to train yeah, him to do? Yeah, what are you trying to train him to do? Uh, we, let's what talk I basics. Suggest, let, what I suggest, yeah. let's do basics, is start a VA part-time with a few tasks. Love it. So I don't want to Love just it. say, hey, find me motivated seller leads and set appointments for me. That's too too. Broad. They have no idea That's about motivated broad. sellers and right. how to get in touch with those people or market to them. Yes, you have to start at the basics. So my suggestion Love it. is set them up with a phone line and let them start answering calls. And don't even start there. I would start recording your own calls before you hire the VA and put together a little uh, sample or demo of some of the calls that you've answered. Then have a communication platform. We use Slack. Um, also, you can use you know Podio, REI Black Book, RE Simply, whatever the CRM you choose. Uh, but have a place, a central place to communicate. And then get a free Dropbox or Drive account. And that's really what you need. You're going to need a phone system. You're going to need a CRM of some sort. And you're going to need a place to store your files. Some CRMs will do that. We like to have a third party because it's just easy to share links and it's free. Um, but Mike, you are absolutely correct. Start simple. Record yourself on the phone or do three-way calls with your VA and sellers, uh, either inbound or outbound. And then very first though, train them about your market. I would say that would be the first thing. Take, well, a, take a couple hours. Even farther back is if it's a, just someone who's never worked in real estate before. This train them on real estate. Train them on real estate. Train them what wholesaling is. Send them to the free wholesale course, guys, if you don't have another course. Love it. That's a great point. Check out the free wholesale course. It's great. Hopefully, you guys, a lot of you probably got started there uh, or know people who've used it. So use the free wholesale course. Great tool. Shows them what wholesaling is. Takes Very about basic. A, yeah, it takes two, an hour two or three to hours, go through. Maybe. Yep. Um, so again, that's going to set them up for what your objective is. Yes. Uh, then, like we said, so you're going to send them the video links to your calls, or like Dave suggested, have them hop on the phone with you, listen to your calls. It's a great idea. Yeah, but start simple, right? So teach them a little bit about real estate, and then teach them a little bit about your market, right? You want them to be able to be familiar with the market that you're investing in. And you may or may not live there. This could be a virtual thing, doesn't matter, but understand your market, right? You should have them going in and looking at, you know, what's selling and what neighborhoods, uh, at what price, as well as how long those days are on market so you can get an idea of what that market looks like. And then next, just add little bits and pieces to what they're doing to, to help you every day. So the way I like to look at it is, what do I wanna do least? Well, that's the first thing I wanna outsource. And when I hired our VA that we still have today and we love them, um, the, I, was, I didn't want to do follow-up calls because I was way too busy taking inbound calls. And follow-up is like 80% of this business. So it's super important. I didn't want to not do it. So I had him start doing that. Well, before you know it, he's answering the calls that are coming in too and doing follow-ups and just setting appointments for me. And then before you know it, he's using the CRM to send out or to add the properties to the website and send out the list. And I'm just kind of sitting here playing QB. So little pieces. One of the tools that we like to use is like Screencast-O-Matic because it's free up to, I think, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And if you're making videos that are more than 10 minutes in training, it's not the best because... Uh, you can have a library of a lot of little short ones that they can go reference. So there's other softwares to record yourself doing it, but that's it. So how to train your VA, just like you would train anyone else. Start simple with the basic things, teach them the basic things, and then slowly start to unload the things that you don't like to do to them. Make sure you're constantly recording all of this so you can use it over and over again. And it also helps them go reference things. And that's basically it, guys. That's It's, it's very simple. One more point yes, I would like please. to say is go back after a week, after three weeks, after three months, and make sure they understand what the objective was and they're doing it correctly. That's another thing that's super, super important. Because if, if they don't understand how to, how to do it or why they're doing it from the get-go, it's gonna be wrong that entire time. So yes, follow up with them. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're getting feedback. Have calls, video calls with you know Zoom or whatever free service you want to, to get to know them. Make a friend with that person yeah. too. You I want mean, them to feel excited about working with you. Um, and dedicate time. Here's the thing guys, this will take time in the beginning to train them. 
right? You are going to have to get off the phone with your sellers and not run an appointment or two because you're going to be occupied by training them. But that time that you spend training them will pay 10x later because it now you can then go do other things. So um, one last tool would be uh, Hub Staff. This is a great tool for a virtual assistant. I can't believe we forgot about that. I know that. because it allows you to track what they're doing. It takes screenshots of their screen every five or 10 minutes. And after idle of so many minutes, it logs them off. It basically clocks them out. And we don't do this to you know micromanage, but we wanna be fair. If they wanna work 20 hours a week, well then we wanna see what they're working on 20 hours a week. But it also helps us if they're focusing a lot of time on one thing that's not very valuable to us. It's not making us a lot of money. You know, we can say, hey, instead of doing that, why don't you hop on the dialer or start texting some people or maybe make some follow-up calls so we can monitor them as well. Um, and it also keeps track of their hours, make it easy to pay. You can even pay them that way. So Hub Staff would be a great tool that we would highly recommend. But that's it when it comes to training, training your, your VAs. Guys, you asked, we answered.